Oh man, it's like super late right now, but I wanted to make this video to talk about the leaks because there's some interesting stuff to bring up, not to mention uh, leaks itself in general. But uh, moving on to it real quick, we see Noelle continue to fight against Majicula and gotta appreciate how, you know, the, all the odds are against her, but she's still doing her best to fight. But uh, then we see Luck appear, and he joins into the fight, which I thought was really cool. But uh, the real topic of the night is Gaja, because we see him stand back up and he's uh, prepared to fight again. And at first, you know, we, we didn't know the context, you know, he gets back up and he continues to fight. But I mean, I, I mean obviously, it's, it's very likely, if not because of Rill's spell, Twilight Valhalla, that he's able to stand up and fight again. And we see a really cool panel with him and Luck getting ready to fight again. Uh, but, uh, thanks to the fan translation, we find out that he says, uh, I'm already as good as dead. However, if fighting for the sake of Lola Pachika, and, uh, that's pretty much, I mean, that, 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 that pretty much says it right there. Gaja, he's pretty much dead. And Twilight Valhalla is pretty much what's keeping him up right now. So, I, I I, I, I kind of see that, you know, people are saying that it's a fake out, but honestly, Gaja was never confirmed dead, and even in my previous videos, I said, well, I, I didn't know. It was never made clear, it was never really shown, it, nothing was made very obvious to us, and that's why we've been hunting <laughs> for, I say hunting, why well, we've been searching really hard for, like, any evidence to show that he's, you know, truly the dust you know that that's why I always say every single week when leaks come out to always be patient and even now we don't have a clear like idea of what's going on at all Gaja right now he's fighting he's standing tall and that's very likely thanks to real spell like I said earlier what happens after is the biggest question my theory, I've mentioned it on Twitter, I think what's going to happen is that Gaja is going to continue to fight for a few more chapters. I don't know how many, maybe two or three, maybe even more than that. And once Real Spell is over, it's done with, Real and Charlotte will go down. They've taken too many severe wounds to continue to fight, they're done. Gaja, however, there's two different routes they can go. And that's pretty much the, the big question that everyone has right now. But in my opinion, what I think is going to happen is it, it's a very similar situation to Lumiere, right? Because when Lumiere came back, he looked like he was about to dust away. He was really old. He was heavily like wounded and damaged. He was literally falling apart. And he gave his final goodbye to Sekre. Then afterwards, he, he passed on. And I feel like that's what's going to happen with Gaja. Gaja wasn't given the chance to say his final goodbye to Lolo. So he's going to continue to fight and protect her as he always has. And then he'll have his final moment with her. He'll give her one goodbye. One final goodbye. And he'll be able to pass on. So essentially, yeah, like I said, someone's situation to Lumiere. And I, I think that would make for a bittersweet moment. I, I think that would be really touching. I think that I, I would prefer it to end that way than having just Gaja just die. Just die right there and then. But uh, others seem to believe that Mimosa will appear and she'll be the one to, you know, heal Gaja with her ultimate magic. And I'm not going to, you know, ignore that possibility because it could still happen. You know, Mimosa could arrive and she could use ultimate magic and heal Gaja. I know people would hate that. I mean, I wouldn't really like that either. But it's still a possibility. But, like I've always said, just be patient. It, it's it's very tiresome to have to say this every week. We don't know the full context of anything. We don't know which side could happen. I mean, there could be even a third thing that we don't know. We, and, like, we're basing everything off fan translations as well. It It's very important to at least wait for officials before coming up with an opinion regarding what's going on in this chapter. And I don't even mean that for just Black Clover. I mean that for, like, literally 
any manga you're following. Be patient, wait for officials, if need be, wait for the next chapter. I know we're getting a two-week break and that sucks, but just be a little patient. And trust in Tabata, trust in your mangaka. I, I know that's that sounds kind of lame to say, and it's or even tiresome because a lot of people like to say that, but just believe in him. I, I I really do think that Tabata has really good plans for things to come forward with this arc, and I I, I fully believe in what he has planned for Gaja. No matter what he does, I I, I have full faith that he'll be able to at least make me happy and hopefully many of you as well but yeah that that's pretty much all i have to say for now regarding gaja as for the rest of the leaks they showed nozel at the end i mean I, i'm not even the biggest nozel fan but i'm so excited to see what he has uh planned against Majicula. but uh, i'm gonna save that for when the chapter comes out because i want I want to read the officials. I want to have a clear picture of what's going on. But I I'm very, very hyped. Uh, but yeah. As for Gaja, we'll talk more about that when the officials come up. But so far, um, let's just continue to be patient. I'd rather that nobody fight, nobody have any arguments. Just, you know, make sure to have an open mind and try to keep things as civil as possible. And again, I know I'm sounding like a parrot, but just please continue to be patient. It doesn't take anything at all to just have a little faith and a little patience towards Tabata. And uh, yeah, I, I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but it is pretty late and I'm pretty tired right now. But yeah, here's looking forward to the officials and here's having a clear picture of what's going to happen when uh, it does come out as well as uh, looking forward to seeing when the chapter, the next chapter releases in two weeks. But hey, at least the bot is getting another break, right? That's always a positive side no matter what. But yeah, just looking forward to the next one.